Pipe Smokers. Mojo Milk here with Mojo Tabby Choo Choo. And it's Monday, so it is Mojo, Mojo Monday. Monday. It's also Crazy Straw Hat Day in the Dickinson household. Eat your heart out making change. Uh, plus, I didn't want to get caught with my um, pork divine head. Yeah. Yeah, that thing again. <laughs> hey, it's Christmas in July. It's Christmas in July. The lights are up. The pine was cut last over the weekend. We can bring some branches in. Oh, we turned the pine tree. Hey, we did. We did. We got all sappy. Sticky and sappy. We have a big, huge ass pine tree right up front of the house here, and it needed some trimming. So, a trimming we did. A trimming we did. Hey, what you smoking there, dear? I'm smoking my little knock around pipe that Ruth Ann found on. Whoa! Holy moly! Holy moly, Batman! Uh, that Ruth Ann found on eBay, and in it, I am smoking my own blend from the Danish pipe shop. My own blend, Mr. Nielsen, the tobacco pipe collector Mike sent to me. Thank you, Mike. This is some amazing tobacco. Tobacco, tobacco. And I am using my blue collar piper tamper that I absolutely love. Thanks, Jerry. That would work well on this pipe. That would. You're I, warm. Yeah, because it's just such a small pipe. Speaking of pipes, what are you smoking? I am smoking it's my little daisy pipe. I got this off of eBay. It's what, maybe four inches? Yep. Just a little pipe. Just a quick little smoke for me. And in it, I have Tinderbox Crown Royal. Cool beans. Very nice. Cool beans. Very nice. Hey. Yo. This is two weeks in a row. I know. What is up with They're going to start expecting shit from us, mm. aren't they? That's cool. We're glad to be back two weeks in a row. I hope all of you are doing very, very well and keeping cool in the heat. Today, it's like 102 and it feels like 107. It's right like now. the hottest part now. It wasn't quite this hot earlier this afternoon at the pool. I went poolside again. I didn't. I had to work. I'm working hard. I know. I, it's, it's hard to keep this up. That's right. It's such a pace. Well, and we hung lights because we didn't because we have anything better nothing. to do. Yeah. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Doesn't everybody hang lights before they make dinner? Absolutely. Hey, All right, dear. I'm following your lead tonight. One of the things, um, I made a video on Saturday, and one of the things I touched upon, what do you need? Oh, got it. Hang on a second. Really good pipe tobacco. One of the things um, I had mentioned was that in the summer when it's really hot, I don't like to smoke a pipe as much. Right. I find, especially winter time, when it fall and winter are big pipe seasons for me. I smoke a lot more. It's a coziness. It's just a lot of factors that make it more enjoyable for me. But in the summer, because it's so hot and just the air is so heavy, I don't like things too close in the summer. Mm. I didn't ask you, what, what kind of smoker are you? Have you noticed that with yourself? I have the summer, but I'm not sure if it's because of the heat or just because we've had 8,343 things going on. But it might be true. You're smoking more cigarettes right now than you were. Yeah. I think um, you swapped, kind of swapped out the pipe for the cigarettes a little bit. And yeah, I think it's just. That's a, that's a nervous habit thing. Your nervous habit. It's my nervous habit. That's all right. What are you going to do? Give it a name. Sure. So, what about you all? What are your smoking preferences? 
Um, do you find yourself smoking more or less in the summertime? I like to sit outside and smoke. I love to sit out on the porch or on the back stoop. But you can't. It's just too hot. It's just too hot. And to go out in public and sit somewhere in the heat with the heavy air, I just, it's just uncomfortable. I don't know where he's at, but Old Cornish Pipe does all of his videos from out on his front porch. Out on his porch. Maybe yeah. it's cooler where he's at. Because if we had to do ours on our front porch, I'd be sweating. Sweating bullets. Sweating bullets, that's for sure. So maybe, I don't know, or maybe just... So let us know. It's better. Than let I us know um, what you, what your smoking preferences are, if they're seasonal or not. Yeah. Guess what, Frankie? What? We are going to do something this week or next week. I think next week. Yeah. Something we've never done before. But we need your help. Because oh. we don't know what we're doing. I am taking you to the Belleville Shooting Range. We live in Belleville. Belleville, Illinois, right outside of St. Louis. We are going to go to the indoor shooting range, run us a gun, and do some shooting. We're going to do some target shooting. Does that sound like fun? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Do you ever shoot a gun? Yep. What kind? Shotgun, handgun. You shot a handgun? Rifle. Yep. Really? Way back in the day, put them all on you. I shot a 12 gauge a couple times. How was it? Hell of a kid. And they, they took it away from me and made me go sit in the car. Because after I shot it, of course, I pointed it right down to the feet, my feet and others' feet. So they immediately took it away from me and sent me to the car. I was on timeout. So that was 35, 40 years ago. I shot Skeet at the Greenbrier Hotel in White Sulphur Springs. That's what that's West what they Virginia. took me to skeet shooting. Yep. I didn't want to go there or anything. It's been a long time though. It's but I like to fun. shoot I feel like to shoot a handgun. Do some like I guess I'm kinda of picturing like what you see on T V where it's a silhouette of a person from the head and the neck and the shoulders. But now here's the thing. They have all these guns that you can rent. They have full automatic rifles and shotguns, handguns. I think I'm going to stick with the handguns and not a not an Uzi or anything like that. Um, what would what, you recommend, I guess? Yeah, what would asking. you recommend? Uh, they have things that I'm here. Hold on just one sec, if you would. Put my glasses on. They have guns such as um, Glock, Ruger's, Berettas, Browning, um, Wilson Combat. These are oh, handguns. those are no, those can't be handguns. They have Magnums, um, Smith and Wesson, Taurus. I don't know that. Kimber, Walther, Sig Sauer, Para Ordnance. Um, See. But I no idea, no idea what I should, what I should um, rent for myself to shoot. I could even rent a couple different ones. Now I have small hands and arthritis, so I can't do anything that's going to be really hard for me to squeeze a trigger. Frank has beautiful hands, aren't they pretty? He has beautiful long hands, so. He's got muscles, so he can he can pick up something of substance. That's what you said. <laughs> so, I, I know Chris Flatwoods Bushcraft would probably have a recommendation. Sparky Pipes Sparky. would probably Scott would probably have a recommendation. Hobby, Hobby, Hobby probably have a recommendation. Who? Um, um, Nick. Nick. I saw him with. Uh, where was he? He was, was a rich, rich Rich's house. Rich's house. Yep. Yeah, with their guns. And so I am, Jason I am completely gun ignorant. I really am. I have no idea. But I just thought it sounded like fun. Sparky was talking about it um, a couple of weeks ago, and it just got me thinking. I want to show Sparky's shooting. gun. That cold. Do you? Sparky. The pearl handling? Or the bone handle or something? 
how much credit yeah. he'd been driving. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's right up the road from us. And it's, I looked it up and it's nothing. It's uh, to rent a gun. It's like, um, 10 bucks or something. What did I say? Yeah, 10 bucks to rent a gun and $18 an hour. $18 an hour to shoot for an hour. I just think that sounds better than paintball. So if anybody's ever done that, you have some recommendations, anything I should be careful about or what I should look for? Be careful of me. Be careful of you. Don't shoot me. Well, they have prices if you shoot out some of their light fixtures or things like that. So bring your checkbook. That would not be fun. Bring your checkbook. That's all that I have to report. Anything with you? Anything going on with you, Jules? No. Sorry, I haven't been on much. It's been kind of crazy around no, here. I'm kind of crazy. Um, I just passed 300 subscribers. Thank you all very much for subscribing, for commenting, for putting up with our crap and my craziness and all the rest of that stuff. So, thank you. I, I stay tuned. I may do a contest. I don't know. We'll 362. See. Hey, that might work. I'm tired of these round numbers. That's true. That's true. Um, Hope you all are enjoying the summer. Hopefully you're getting some rain. We went over the Mississippi the other day. Mississippi is about half the width that it normally is right now. It is so dry. It's just the bed, the banks are just closing in. Sam, there's bars, mud bars, they're not really sand bars. Mud bars in the middle of it. It's awful. Mud bars. Mud bars. It's like a bondi bar. But it's not a sandbar. You got sandbars at the shore. Okay. So, give us some recommendations on handguns. I think we both shoot handguns. Handguns. On handguns to shoot. It's been forever and a day since I've shot a handgun. I work a layup to AK 47s. Okay. Have you shot a handgun? Never. Okay. Never. The first time I ever saw one was with your G Man friend. With that. What do you have, a 9 millimeter or something? Gorm. 9 millimeter. Yeah. Was that a Gorm? It was a Gorm. It was impressive. I think I peed my pants. Jesus. Okay, so leave some recommendations down below. We greatly appreciate that. And who Dan wants, and I want you to talk about if you're smoking less this Smoking summer, habits. What's your, when you smoke more in the fall and winter, or you like old Cornish pipe and it doesn't matter you just go out on the front porch and do a great video love your videos brother is that it for today i believe it is it smells pretty good does it yeah all right guys you know what i have my chair raised all the way up and my feet don't touch the ground i'm still not as tall as you i need to sit on some telephone books once again give it a name okay oh drinks hey be good. See you. Hey, look. What? We can do hats and tats. Show your tats. Hats and tats. Hats and tats. It's hats and tats, Mark and Amber. Have a good night, everyone. See good you guys. See you Love you. Talk to you later. Peace out. Love, peace, and all the rest of that good grease. Bye.